I really enjoyed the movie, guys. I'm just going to oh, begin. Uh, 14 years in the making. How did it take? How did it take a script this good that long to get made? That, man, honestly, like they're all a fight. It's all a marathon. Uh, it seems like every film. And then it's like, what, at what at what level or what type of film do you want to make? Is kind of the other side of it, right? Because I mean, we we didn't get the opportunity to make the film we wanted to make until right now. That's kind of how it, it kind of comes down the pipe. You know? And I think, as you can imagine, like a film like this, you know, we kept getting the like, well, this is very tonally specific, you know. So it was like, okay, well, what's the, you know? So it was, it was a, it, we had to make a couple of movies first, and I, the one that sort of at least sealed the deal on this one was Small Town Crime, where we could sort of point back and say, hey, this is the tone that we want to do. We're going to be mixing this, this, and this genre with a with yeah. with some sort of western undertones, and like that's what we're after. And they would be able to watch that movie and say, oh, okay, now I get it. And then we would, yeah, that's literally how it happens. We were able to make the, the previous film that, that gave a, set a little bit of a tone palette. I think a lot, I mean, many of the meetings we got over the years were probably just to see what kind of maniacs would walk through the door. Yeah, who wrote this thing? <laughs> I, I feel like maybe you guys didn't get a present you wanted when you were a kid. And this is some sort of like closure, <laughs> yeah. some sort of therapy for you. Is it, what, what, just were there any standout presents when you were younger that you really, really wanted and you either didn't get or you, re you did get one day and you were shocked and surprised and thrilled? It's sadly disappointing that we had wonderful Christmases. Like our parents would hold out till Christmas and it would be this extravaganza. But it was literally like, Ian, Ian isn't exaggerating when he said mom and dad would hold out. But he'd be like, hey, you know, it's summer. Can we get a pair of shorts? And they're like, no, Christmas is coming. And you're like, are you serious? <laughs> Six months away. And they're going to need shorts then. Yeah. So they, like, they would go hard at Christmas. But, you know, we had, it, was a, it was a bit of a drought between then. It was. They were. They were pretty. They were pretty staunch in between yeah. that of like, no, no, you gotta wait for Christmas or a birthday or something. B birthday but, was underplayed. Christmas yeah. was the one that went hard. Christmas was big time. Yeah. Yes. The annoying thing was always I get like warm clothes, like slippers and gloves and yeah. stuff at Christmas, but then it meant for in, in October, and November, I was just freezing every year. <laughs> every, yeah. Anyway. Oh, I, I <laughs> I was wondering how it was supposed because you mentioned obviously from uh, after making Small Town Crime, mean, how was it um, ha having this kind of more money and tools and stuff at your disposal? I know every director and every filmmaker says they never have quite enough, but did you quite enjoy having kind of a, a, a bigger kind of project, more sort of tools and more money to to spend, or, or was it quite kind of overwhelming to begin with to to take that leap into a, a bigger budget, kind of bigger uh, production? It felt like to me. Cause I think it always feels like this, right? I mean, you get a little bit more money, but you've got a little bit more movie, you know? So you're always trying, you're always sort of chain. It is. I, I think that's perpetually true. You're always trying to over deliver to, to maximize your dollars. Yeah. And so you always are sk skimping somewhere to try to cut a corner to put a little more into this kitty. And I think it, they all have felt like that, but yes, you know, we had a few more hands. We had a few more collaborators on this one. We were able to do a few more things. We actually were able to build, to build a little bit of sets on the last one. It was, we better pray to God we land somewhere and that it's 99.9% .9 there. Um, and although we had wonderful collaborators on that last one as well, they just didn't have a budget or manpower to turn something upside down and make it all its own. Yeah. It, it, yeah that, that part of it was amazing because we'd get into places and you'd be able to like, okay, you know, you'd be, you could be a little pickier on what you needed or wanted. And uh, although we weren't flush with cash, we did, you know, we were able to budget it out to make it work, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, talking a great, and I was going to say, talking of great collaborators. I mean, you got Mel Gibson in Santa. That must have been right. a real thrill when when you were able, when you were to secure that that casting. And also, just as a second part to that question, thanks for casting Marianne and letting her keep her London accent. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. No, I remember we went to we 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 were talking about Marianne, and she was talking to us. She's like, "Hey, what what region am I from? Like, what you know, what where am I at geographically here? And in, in what accent do you want yeah, American wise?" And, and you know, just listening to her like that like yeah, the yeah. british accent like do not change a thing it's perfect like we love how it makes the picture feel more international yeah you instantly get this you know i, I think you get this you get this just for me anyway this feeling of like in question of like where did they meet how did they meet this got a little more interesting you know um but with mel we were at a 2016 17 screening of hacksaw ridge and i remember seeing him we were at, at the arc light so it was like a q a afterwards and he was in the middle of like an awards run and he had this beard and he was like kneading it during the during the <laughs> q a and he was answering questions very passionately and you could just feel the weight of that campaign and the world on his shoulders um as he was very passionately talking about about the movie and his experience but 
yeah, cut to three years later, we knew we wanted him then. And like, oh my God, that's the guy, you know, cut to three years later. And, you know, I get an email as we're out making submissions for trying to find a movie at home, trying to find money, trying to find a producer, trying to find an, you know, our main guy. And of course we're out to him and praying he likes it. I get this email that says, hey, love the film or love the script. Uh, let's sit down for a chin wag. You know, and I'm, I'm well, thinking, what's a chin wag? There's no sign off. <laughs> First off, what's a chin wag? Yeah, I, I, there's no sign off, you know, and uh, his name is obviously not in his email. So I'm like, okay, well, who, like, who is this? I'm, I'm writing, like, oh, hey, thanks. Cause we were answering a lot of emails of like production companies and producers that we were sitting down with to chat about it. And I was like, but who am I talking with? You know, we're excited to talk with you. And he's like, oh, this is Mel. And it was literally like, oh my God. Like, you know, and, and, and I remember uh, we, we got a, like a 45 minute, <laughs> guess who wrote? <laughs> uh, so we were super excited. Um, and I remember that we got like a 45 minute meeting with we got the chin wag at the chin wag cafe. And uh, it turned into like three, three and a half hours of us just really excitedly talking about film and, and fat man. And yeah, man, we really, we really, hit it off in a creative way that I think he not only understood what uh, we were going for, what we were going for, but like, yeah, we, in, in a, in a, in a, in a way, like we, we, we hit it off as collaborators, you know, not just as what he in the film, but as people working together. Brilliant. Well, thanks for the chin wag, guys. Much appreciated. Yeah. Best of luck with the movie guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks brother. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!